Errol Spence Jr. will make the first defense of his IBF World Welterweight title on the 13th of January 2018 against Lamont Peterson. Peterson was, up until recently, the WBA regular Welterweight champion, but he has vacated that belt. So he'll just be coming into this as a challenger. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you are well aware of who Lamont Peterson is, what he can do, what he's all about. He's got three losses on his record. Off the top of my head, one of them was to Tim Bradley. The other one was to Lucas Matisse. The other one was... Oh, I forget. He had the... Was it a, a loss or a draw with Victor Ortiz? He does have a, a draw on his record. The third loss, I can't even remember now. It's escaped my mind. <laughs> escaped my memory. You guys can jog it for me. Uh, but anyway, Peterson is a veteran. He's a good all-round boxer. He can box on the inside, on the outside. He can do... He's a good all-rounder. He can do pretty much everything. The two issues with Peterson have always been his chin is a little shaky and he don't really have too much punching power. But other than that, there's not much weakness in his game. He's fairly strong physically. Not the strongest guy, but fairly strong physically. Decent speed. Good all-round skills. He can do... You know, box long range on the inside, on the back foot, coming forward. He's a very versatile guy. Errol Spence at the moment is almost like a force of nature. He just will not be denied. One of the most dedicated fighters in the game. I've believed in Errol Spence for a long time. I picked him to beat Kell Brook. I always felt like he would beat Kell Brook as soon as that fight was even being muted or talked about, I felt like, yep, this guy's going to beat Brooke when he became his mandatory and whatnot. He just has that eye of the tiger about him, that look of destiny in his eyes, <laughs> and he will not be denied. However, I've spoken before about the fact that Errol Spence, even though he's a talented fighter physically, he's not exceptional physically. He's not the fastest welterweight you'll ever see. He's not the biggest punching welterweight you'll ever see. The only real exceptional thing about him physically is his body attack. He's a very, very good body puncher. But other than that, you know, he's a southpaw, obviously, and whatnot. He has good size and strength, you know, good physical strength. But there's nothing that spectacular about him. What's really the driving force behind his success, in my view, is his mentality. Errol Spence has that old school Marvin Hagler type mentality. He's a very, very mentally tough, focused, determined young man. Who, as I say, is extremely dedicated in the gym. So, with that being said, how will he deal with Lamont Peterson? I personally, obviously I'm, I'm definitely picking Errol Spence to win the fight. No question, there's not a doubt in my mind it'll win. It's just a question of how impressive will he look and how awkward will the, will the wily veteran Lamont Peterson make it for him. They have sparred a long time ago, apparently. But, you know, Errol Spence has come on a hell of a lot, a, a lot from then. From what I understand it, they sparred when Errol Spence was still an amateur. So you really can't take too much from that. But still, uh, Peterson's a wily veteran. And, you know, the reason why I say Spence, why I was talking about Spence not being exceptionally talented physically is because a wily veteran like Lamont Peterson might be able to hang in there against Errol Spence for a while. You know, if he, maybe if he uses some movement and messes Spence around, he might be able to hang in there. I'm not sure. Because, again, Spence is not like uh, Lucas Matisse who's going to come in there bombing. That's not him. So... Uh, actually, the other defeat that Lamont Peterson suffered was Danny Garcia, of course. I forgot about that one. Yeah, the Danny Garcia loss. That was his third loss. And then there was the draw with Victor Ortiz. Anyway, back on track. Lamont Peterson might be able to make it awkward for uh, Errol Spence, potentially, for a couple rounds. How long do you think this fight will go, people? I'll just put it out to you guys. Errol Spence Jr. versus Lamont Peterson. How many rounds is this fight going to go? Will it go the distance? How competitive will it be? Again, I'm definitely picking Errol Spence to win. There's not a doubt in my mind that he'll win. But how impressive will he look? You let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
it's happening, I'm out.